Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. Hi Lisa Dixon from Divorce TV, welcome. Today's topic is all about having to go to court for the very first time. Now a lot of people ask me, what was it like? What do I need to know? What do I need to do about going to court? Now this can apply for mediation as well or for your settlement meeting as well. So let me take you through some really basic but simple processes and procedures that will help you. The very first thing is make sure you plan out your trip. Now I know this sounds really simple, but when you've got a lot going on in your brain and you're thinking about child custody or you're thinking about financial settlement and you know it's gonna be a big day tomorrow, the last thing you're gonna be planning out is public transport, trains, buses, cars, car parking, do I need to pre-book the car park in? Can someone drop me off, pick me up? Do I know exactly where I'm going? Where is that lawyer's office? Where is the mediation office? Where is the court? And what level of the court do I have to be on? And do I have to register beforehand? And have I made a time and a place to meet my lawyer, if I have a lawyer and I'm represented, otherwise representing myself, at the court? That's important as well. Now these are all little things to take you through, but they're very important and they will help you have a smooth day that day. One of my tips as well is Try not to eat too much the day before or the night before. Now I'll give you a classic example. The very first time I had to go to court, and this was the Supreme Court, uh, one of the highest, is that I absolutely thought, what a great idea, have a big breakfast, set me up for the day. No, because I was running to the bathroom and I threw it all up. Sorry about the graphic details, but that's exactly what happened. So eat light. Keep up the fluids, plenty of water, take your water bottle with you, and it's fine to have coffee, tea, whatever whatever you do in terms of that, that's fine. But I, if I can just share that one thing with you, that is very, very important. Um, another thing is support people. So a lot of people ask me, should I bring my support person? Who is my support person? What is their role? How will they help me? Now, my personal experience is I have found that taking a support person clouds everything, makes it very foggy. They also might have known your ex, so it may not be as independent as you think it is because there are still emotional ties there. Um, you may actually just want to go yourself with your legal representation or whoever you're going with in terms of that side of it. I have tried both and my clients have tried both. And I strongly, strongly recommend now that you just go with your legal representation and go it alone because you're the only one. You know what you want, you know what you want for your children and that is very, very important. Someone else may then put another idea in your head that you think, well actually no, that's not what I want. So everyone to their own, but I just wanted to share that with you because I have seen it not work as well as it probably should have. Now, if you've seen any of my videos on managing your case, run your own case, or how much for the chickens, I strongly recommend that you go and have a look at those and re-watch them. They're very short, they're very efficient, and they're very, very helpful in terms of settling your case and going to settlement, going to court for the first time. It's really important that when I say run your own case, I'm not necessarily talking about you actually being in charge of your own legal, legal representation, of you representing yourself. If you are, that's absolutely fine. But if you're not, what I'm talking about is that you manage all of the professionals around you. So that could be barristers, lawyers, financial advisors, support people, psychologists, single experts, any of those. At the end of the day, sorry, we've got a photo bomber here with the cat. <laughs> any of those people at the end of the day, they work for you. It's your case, and it's your life, and it's your children, and it's your new life as well. 
So make sure that at the end of the day you're not railroaded into agreeing to things that may not necessarily be actually what you want to do. So I'm Lisa Dixon, I'm here from Divorce TV. If you want to book in a free complimentary session, I'm more than happy to talk through your case with you, give you some free advice, give you some free hints, some free strategies, things that have worked for myself, things that have worked for other people. More than happy to do that and it's complimentary. And don't forget, if you don't have a game plan, you need to get a game plan. Talk soon. Lisa Dixon from Divorce TV.